The Capital One Saver One credit card is one of the best no annual fee cards on the market. This piece of plastic can be great for cash back or if you are planning to travel. I've had the Saver One card for a year and a half now and I've received huge benefits from dining, grocery, Uber purchases, international purchases, and more. So let's dig into the Capital One Saver One card a little bit more, and I'll tell you what kind of value I've received from holding this card. Just to make sure we're on the same page, when you type in Capital One Saver One to Google and you click on the first link, you might be taken to a page that looks like this. There are three different Saver cards that you will be looking at, and I wanna make sure that we both know which one we're talking about. I'm not talking about the one on the left, the Saver One Rewards for Good Credit, and I'm not talking about the one on the right, the Saver Rewards. I'm talking about the most popular card out of these three, the one right in the middle, the Saver One Rewards card. Capital One makes it a little bit confusing here, but as long as you know we're talking about this card, we are good to move on to the next step. And also, if you just want to click on the link in my description, and then you click on Saver One card, then you'll just have one of the heat credit cards pulled up, and that is the one we're talking about. So if you want to be a little bit less confused, you can click on that link and it helps support the channel if you decide to apply for this card using that link. But of course, no pressure. As we start fully diving into this card, we want to make sure that our first step is can we actually get approved for this card? Capital One does say that you need excellent credit to be approved. So what does that exactly mean? We can click on excellent and we can see right here that there are a few criteria that Capital One uses. They say that you've never declared bankruptcy or defaulted on a loan. You have never been more than 60 days late on any credit card, medical bill, or loan in the last year. And you've had a loan or credit card for three years or more with a credit limit above $5,000. Now I wouldn't say that this is a hard rule that you have to meet all of these perfectly. These are just general guidelines of what it would mean to have excellent credit. So if you're ever interested, there is a pre-approval tool right next to this card on the Capital One website. You can just click on that to see if you are pre-approved for this card. If you are pre-approved, it doesn't mean you are 100% guaranteed to be approved for this card, but it is a good step that I would recommend anybody take if you are interested in signing up for this card. Now let's dive into some of the specific details about this card. We'll start off with the $0 annual fee that I mentioned in the intro. This is amazing with any credit card that you decide to sign up for because it means that you never have to cancel this card because they are going to be charging you fees that you don't want. If I truly stopped getting any benefit from this card, I could just simply put it in my closet and never think about it ever again. I could even go on the Capital One website and put a lock on this card so that I would make sure that there's no unauthorized charges on that card. And so I just wouldn't even have to think about it at all. But I do get a ton of benefit from this card and we'll get into those now. There is a welcome offer. If you spend $500 in the first three months, you you will get a $200 cashback reward. I don't know of too many cards that offer this good of a welcome offer for a $0 annual fee card. This is the bonus that I received when I signed up for the card and was approved about a year and a half ago. So I got $200 of cash back directly into my account after spending that $500. This is a pretty crazy bonus because every dollar that you spend on this card in your first $500, you are getting a 40% return on your money. There is a note in the fine print of this card that says, existing or previous card members are not eligible for this product if they have received a new card member bonus for this product in the past 48 months. So that means that if you have received a bonus on the Saver One card in the last four years, you will not be able to get this bonus again. It's okay if you've received other bonuses on other Capital One cards, but in this card specifically, just make sure you have not received a bonus on this one in the last four years, and you should be good to receive that 200 dollars of cash back. You can redeem your rewards for cash as a credit to this card or a check sent in the mail. Or if you have linked your card with PayPal or Amazon, you can redeem your cash back this way at checkout. But I've never actually used my rewards in these ways. And if you have a venture card, you can convert your cash back to Capital One Miles that you can use to transfer out to airline and hotel partners. And we'll get into more of that later on in this video. 
video. Our next benefit for signing up for this card is 0% interest on all purchases and balance transfers made in the first 15 months of holding this card. Usually I don't love talking about interest on credit cards in my videos, but this one specifically caught my eye because 15 months is a very long time to have 0% interest. Most people should just not even consider this when signing up for a new credit card because credit card debt is very scary and I don't want anybody to be paying interest on their credit cards. My recommendation for how I would look at this 0% interest rate is if you already have no credit card debt, that's fantastic. You already know to pay off the bill in full and on time every month when you receive the statement. But if you are somebody that currently has credit card debt, you could transfer over your balances to this card to receive 0% interest. And it does come with a 3% balance transfer fee in the first 15 months. And then it goes up to a 4% fee after the first 15 months is up. And if for some reason where you can't pay off the full statement balance at the end of the month, just make sure to at least pay the minimum payment so that you don't have any late payments on your credit report. Now we get to talk about some of the really cool ways you can maximize this Saver One card. And I'll start off by mentioning a benefit of this card, and that is an Uber One membership until November 14th, 2024. Now, of course, I want to make sure this video is relevant beyond November 2024, so I'll just go through this very quickly. Basically, you can get an Uber One membership on your Saver One card or quite a few other Capital One cards, and this is extremely nice because who doesn't want a free membership on a no annual fee card? Ever since enrolling in this perk, this card is charged $9.99 every single month for Uber One, and then I am reimbursed that full amount a couple days later, and so I never have to pay for this benefit, and I get things like discounted rides and discounted Uber Eats. I would love for this benefit to be extended beyond November 2024, but this is just such a great deal for the consumer. I'm probably going to assume that they will not extend beyond November. Now that we've talked about that huge benefit, let's get into the spending categories and we'll go from best to worst. And the number one spending category on the Saver One is 10% cash back at Uber and Uber Eats until November 2024. I would like if this got extended beyond that, but it probably will not, so I'll just enjoy it while I can. And yes, I definitely enjoy it because I put my Uber spend and Uber Eats spend on this card. 10% cash back is extremely hard to beat. And now on to 8% cash back, you get this from Capital One Entertainment. I haven't personally used this myself, but other people say it's pretty good and 8% cash back is really solid. There's an area of the Capital One website where you can click Explore Experiences, and then in there you can see different entertainment options for sports, music, and dining. I just recently just went over this and looked at the sporting events in my area, and I found that they were on Capital One Entertainment. So if I were to buy tickets, through this portal, then I could get 8% cash back right there. Now, if I wanted to use a different portal, the Capital One Travel Portal, I could get 5% cash back on hotels and rental cars booked through this portal. The 5% cash back that I can get for using this portal is definitely decent, but it's not anything special, and so I only occasionally use this. And now the 3% cash back categories is really what makes this no annual fee card shine. You you get 3% cash back on dining, entertainment, popular streaming services, and also grocery. This is so nice to have this many 3% earning categories because no annual fee cards typically do not have this many categories where you can earn a ton of cash back or a ton of points. Dining can be any sort of restaurant or takeout or I guess even delivery services, not Uber because Uber is elevated at 10% cash back. And then the entertainment section is actually really interesting. In the terms and conditions, they tell you exactly what counts as entertainment. There are a ton of options there, so I won't bother reading them off right now, but there are also exclusions in the terms and conditions, so make sure to read that before making a purchase with the Saver One card, expecting 3% cash back, and potentially not getting it. 
Then there's popular streaming services. They don't exactly list out which services these are, but I would guess that most of them would qualify like Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, any of the other popular ones, I'm sure those would count. And then what makes this card really, really special is the 3% cash back for groceries. I don't necessarily use my card a lot for dining and the streaming services because I have other cards for that, but 3% cash back on groceries, this card is so great for that. In the past year and a half, I have earned over $300 of cash back from using this card and $200 of it is going to come from that welcome offer. So that means over $100 was earned from just using this card for everyday purchases. And I would say a huge chunk of that is coming from the 3% cash back earning categories and a lot of that coming from the grocery category. Of course, there are other benefits to this card as well. A few of them that stuck out to me was 50% off drinks when you go to a Capital One cafe. I actually didn't know about Capital One cafes until a few months ago. And so I looked up Capital One cafes in my area. Turns out there's only one in my state, which I've never even thought about using or going to before. But if you want me to go to one and check it out, let me know in the comments. The next benefit that I want to talk about is no foreign transaction fees. This is a huge, huge perk for this no annual fee card because I can just pull out this card whenever I'm traveling internationally for any country in the world and use this card and still earn the category multipliers. And I've actually used this card very recently in my travels to the Caribbean. I was trying to pay at a grocery store with my American Express card. Well, that grocery store did not accept American Express. And so I used the Saver One card to get 3% cash back on this over $100 purchase. Another huge benefit of this card is that you can move your rewards from this card that earns cash back and turn it into Capital One Miles if you have a Venture credit card. So that would be the Venture One credit card, the Venture or the Venture X. In this scenario, one cent of cash back equals one Capital One Mile. And so if you have multiple Capital One cards, you can just move your Saver One cash back to your Venture X card card like I have done multiple times. Anytime I earn rewards on the Saver 1, I can just move them over to the Venture X and I can use it to transfer out to airline and hotel partners. This is the perfect way to maximize the value of every Capital One cent or mile that you earn on your Capital One credit cards. So the over $300 worth of cash back that I've earned from this Saver One card, well, I've never actually cashed them out into my bank account or for a statement credit. I've just held on to them and moved them over to the VentureX credit card. So now that I've told you a lot of really good things about this credit card, who is this actually for? Well, first off, this is for new-ish people to credit cards. Capital One really likes customers that don't have a lot of credit cards on their credit report. If you've added multiple credit cards lately, then Capital One may not like it, but it definitely doesn't mean you will automatically be denied for this card. And I say new-ish credit card users because this card might be difficult to get approved for as your very first credit card. Maybe if you have a Capital One checking account, that would look a little bit better for you, but I'm not so sure about this being your very first credit card. This card may be for you if you haven't applied for a Capital One card lately. There is a rumor going around that there is a six month rule with Capital One cards, which basically means if you have applied for a Capital One card in the past six months, Capital One will not want to approve you for a card if you submit an application. This definitely isn't a hard rule and it will vary from person to person, but that's why checking on the pre-approval tool can be so good for you. People also say that Capital One has a two card rule where basically you can't get more than two personal cards with Capital One, but there are plenty of people that have three Capital One personal cards and they are perfectly fine, but for other people, 
Capital One will limit them to two cards. This card can also be great for Venture card holders, somebody that has the Venture 1, the Venture, or the Venture X, because like I explained, you can turn your cashback rewards into Venture Miles to transfer out to airline and hotel partners. If you already have a ton of credit cards and this one is a little bit too beginner for you, I would understand if you decided not to apply, but the Saver 1 card can be absolutely fantastic for anybody, no matter how advanced their credit card strategy is because of the spending multipliers and of course that no dollar annual fee. If you want to learn more about one of the best no annual fee cards to apply for, I do have that link in my description. It'll help out the channel a ton if you decide to use that link to apply for the Saver One card. And if you want to check out another Capital One video, I do have my Watch Me Apply for the Venture X right there. If you click on that, you can see me apply for the Venture X card and potentially get approved for it. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.